Nigerians have gone to the polls to elect governors in two northern states. The country is now split along Christian and Muslim lines. Violence erupted when allegations of a voting fraud arose as Good Luck Jonathan, a Christian, had won the presidential election. Laurie Liu has more. Under the watchful eye of policemen on horseback and soldiers manning barricades, the vote in Bauchi and Kaduna states begins. The election was delayed by the post-election violence last week that killed at least 500 people across the north of the country. Among the debris of burned homes, people still turn out to cast their ballots. I came to vote today despite the previous violence because we believe that Kaduna State belongs to all of us and it is a duty to select a good leader that will move the state forward. However, while locals have high expectations for what the observers called a large, fair election, it remains unclear what the vote has changed. The ruling political party retained control over many state governorships. Opportunities remain few for those in the arid north, as jobs are scarce and a formal education remains out of the reach of many. The homes of traditional rulers were burned across the north in the post-election violence. This is something that was once unthinkable in this region that values the advice of elders. I think really that uh, this is a problem between the political as well as traditional leadership in the North versus the ordinary people, who they see, the ordinary people see, that the Northern leadership have sold out um, to, to the south. Voting goes slowly, but both areas see low voter turnout as soldiers have taken over security for the hard-hit states and many remain displaced by the rioting. Lori Liu, CCTV.